Hi guys, Gilliam Elliott here with another educational video about medical tourism. Uh, today, I wanted to do a quick email response. Um, I'm gonna try to do these more often. Um, hopefully, some of these can answer some questions that you may have. Um, or if you have some questions, you can always send me an email and I'll try to do a response uh, to those as well. Um, so the email here starts off, uh, hi Gil, uh, I'm new to the medical tourism industry, so I'm collecting as much information as possible. I was reading your page about starting a medical tourism business, and I was hoping you can help me with my question, but also offer any short courses about medical tourism. My question is if I need a specific license or permit to provide medical services to U.S. citizens from a company based in the Middle East, sending their patients to Turkey and India. Okay. So it depends. She says she's in the Middle East. Um, she's interested in sending patients that are American based, sending those patients to India or to Turkey. So since she is in the Middle East, um, first and foremost, she's going to have to register her business. Uh, you know, the entity, whether she wants to register it as a LLC, as a sole proprietorship, uh, as a partnership. Um, it really just depends on uh, on her business and uh, that's what's going to depend on how she sets up uh, the business or register the business in that aspect. And that really goes for if you're pretty much anywhere, you're going to need to register your business as one of these entities that I uh, mentioned, LLC, uh, sole proprietorship, uh, corporation, etc. So you're going to have to do that uh, just just from the start. But if you're in the, if you're in the Middle East, if you're in uh, the MENA region, um, you're going to need uh, a license outside of just uh, your business entity, just the LLC. You're going to need more than just that. Um, and they, they're going to want to know that you know what you're talking about, right? When you go to fill out this paperwork uh, to get your, uh, your license or your permit, because uh, they want to know that you, you know what you're doing. Um, and so I would encourage her, um, this individual, to before you go and file for your license uh, there in the Middle East, um, check out uh, an online certification course like our certified medical tourism agent course. I would take that first, understand the best practices of medical tourism, the ins and outs uh, of how to start and launch a business uh, before you file for that uh, license or that permit. Um, but most places, um, you, you, you typically just need to set up your business entity and then you would obviously want to get uh, some form of uh, professional training and then you would launch your business from there. Um, but that's that's the basis of it. And even if even if she didn't need to get or even if you don't need to get a uh, an additional license uh, to get, let's say, your business account like she's going to need. Uh, she's going to need this business license to get her business account. Let's say you don't need that. Uh, let's say you just need to register the business and then you're you know, you're ready to go from there. You still are going to want to take some form of educational uh, training, uh, some course. Um, and, and really understand how to launch the most effective medical tourism company possible. And you want to give yourself the best chance of succeeding in this industry, right? You don't want to just try to throw it against the wall and see if it sticks. You really want to go into it in a systematic way, understanding the necessary steps it takes to be uh, a successful medical tourism agent. Um, so you definitely want to do that. And then also just a little bit more on that. Um, when you are, when you get to the point where you want to, um, work with credible uh, hospitals and credible doctors and credible clinics around the world, they're also going to want to see um, that you know what you're doing, that you're not just a random person starting a company trying to make a quick buck. They're, they're going to want to see that you've uh, achieved something, that you have something showing that uh, you actually know um, your, your craft, you know what you're doing. So that's another reason why you want to definitely make sure that you take some form um, of training. Um, and make sure that uh, once you do partner with these companies, that you you are partnering with the best companies possible as well. You don't want to just uh, partner with anybody. You want to make sure that they meet your standards as a company. But th this was my short response, guys. I, I don't want to take up too much time. This was my short response to this email. And if you guys have any other uh, questions or, or something I can answer, uh, send them over. I try to make a, a quick response video like this. Uh, and I also I'm also going to leave some links as well uh, below this video. Um, to, to our certification, uh, to our platform, 
and uh, and I look forward to uh, to getting more emails like this. Right when you get into medical tourism, it's a lot of questions that are going to need uh, answering, and hopefully I can answer some of those questions for you. Thanks a lot.